Hey guys uh, and girls, what's up? So today we're going to look at uh, fragments in React. Uh, fragments were introduced in the version 16 and they were improved in 16.2 version. And it has some interesting use. Uh, so we're going to look at the syntax, how to use them, where to use them. And by the way, this is uh, part of a much larger series on React. If you're not following, you can do so from scratch. Uh, I'll provide a link here. And welcome to Taxi Tutorials. All right, to start with, I have created this uh, project using Create React App. And inside the source folder, I have this app.js. So this is where we're going to work. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a stateless component. Um, let's say called temp equal to um, an error function, which returns a simple div. And it says hi inside. And all right, so which is pretty simple. And I can use this temp inside this uh, main component. So I have to say temp. All right. So now if I run this, I would say npm start. Uh, so it renders high, which is fine. But let's say if I want to have another high, or hello, should I say, I should basically wrap this, call it hello. I cannot really do this. I have to, whenever I have two elements, I have to wrap it uh, with a parent. And so if I save this, and it would give me an error saying that must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. Okay, so which is a problem sometime. But for now, let's wrap it with a div tag. And now it works. However, if I inspect element, I have this additional tag that is not needed. So I have this additional div between app and hi and hello, which is not needed. So the solution is fragments. And in old days, when I say old days, maybe a year ago in React world, or maybe six months ago, um, there used to be a package, a fragment package that you could use to solve this problem. But now, after React 16, they have introduced um, a better way of doing this. So one of the way is uh, simply doing this. Make it look like an array. Well, make it an array. So instead of returning, wrap it, instead of wrapping it with a div or any other element, um, make it an array and then pass your elements like uh, the elements of the arrays, right? So you have to add this comma here, and it looks like an array. Now, if I save this, it would print properly. And as you can see, it won't have that problem. Uh, you won't see that extra div here. However, if I look at the console, it gives me an error or warning, should I say. It says each a child in an array or iterator should have a unique key. So what I have to do is now, in order to save it, solve this problem, I have to have a unique key. So I'm just gonna do like a one here, and I can do two here. And now if I run this, the warning should go away. If I refresh it, and the warning goes away. It's fine, so it's working. However, this is a bad syntax and it's confusing and we should not be using this. So the better solution is fragments. So the way it works is you need to import fragments from React. Uh, if Make sure that you have a version 16 or after. In my case, I am using, let's look at this. I'm using 16.2. All I have to do is import uh, fragments, fragment 
from React. Once I do that, all I have to do is wrap this element with a fragment. And you don't have to deal with the this array syntax, which was quite a new. So now, if I, well, I don't have to have this key as well. So since F is capital, it's not a regular tag. It basically removes itself when it renders. So now if I look at it, um, I don't see that any additional tags in between. This is what I really wanted. In 16.2, uh, they have even better syntax, which is you can simply remove this. Somehow it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. Uh, if it works for you, let me know. It somehow gives me an error. So I don't know why. It's supposed to work, but it's not. But let me know if it works for you. The However, the pro so it's, it's similar to fragment, and you don't need to now use fragments, you can just use empty, wrap it with an empty tag. But I still don't like this way, I like fragments um, tag, because at least you know what's going on, and also another thing is if you wanna pass any props, here you cannot do it. You have to use fragments if you wanna pass any props. So I would always use fragments and not this syntax. So now you can actually divide entire app into smaller pieces without adding additional uh, wrapping with additional tags. Another important use is, let's say if I want to pass some property here, so I'm just gonna say equal to um, high. And here, um, and inside here, I can make a decision props dot uh, greetings let's say equal to high to render something else let's say if I want to render the HTML looking tag something like um, and LT let's say div GT and in, inside that I want to interpolate this uh, props dot greetings then I would have to kind of use because I'm using this inside I have to probably use like a string interpolation and make the entire thing within the string interpolation and I have to do something like this but this time I have to use let's say some slash here all right okay let's see if it how it works so it looks quite ugly um, somehow it's not rendering as I wanted to so instead I can simply use pr uh, fragments and the way I would do it is I don't need, really need I can just wrap the whole thing with a fragment here uh, because it's not going to be render fragment tag is not going to be render and I can keep my rest of the stuff as HTML I don't really need to and I can use a curly brackets inside since it's a tag uh, template strings and I would get div high div and so it renders properly I think the other way around you can also render it properly but you have to use, I think, string interpolation, I believe so. But anyway, uh, using fragment, it works fine. So this is quite neat use of it. You don't have to always wrap your stuff with it with an extra tag. And, and the, the neat thing is within the curly bracket, if I want to use another curly bracket, then I have to use a string interpolation, right, without using any tags. But if I use a tag, then I can use another curly bracket inside. And so that's that's a powerful and, and this is a one of the use so case. But if you if you have a interesting use case, let me know. I'm still experimenting with it, so there might be other interesting uses. Um, but this one I found out, so I'm letting you know. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you did, please um, like, subscribe, and provide an interesting comment. And also, you can support the channel. Um, by clicking the link on the Patreon and you can translate the video for me uh, to your native language. Uh, provide the information in the description and thank you.